Vincent Falco, what did I tell you? But, Dad! What did I tell you? That... I'm grounded. Exactly, and that means no TV, no radio, and no video games. That's so unfair. Are you joking? You and your criminal friends blew away half of Mrs. Johnson's garden. I'm sorry. It was an accident. We didn't know that sodium was so volatile. Vinny, you're a smart kid, and I'm glad you like science. But there are a lot of things to do other than electrocuting, burning, or blowing stuff up. I get the point. I I'm sorry. That's much better. But you are still grounded. So no video games. Do you understand me? I understand. That's much better. See you tomorrow. But just in case you didn't understand me well enough, I'll be taking these cartridges with me. But Dad! Hey, it takes courage to apologize when you did something wrong. You're growing, and I'm proud of you. That means I'm not grounded anymore? Nope, but it reduces your sentence. I don't want you to think that your decisions don't have consequences. Because believe me, they do. Sooner or later, you're gonna have to deal with the results of your actions. Remember, your attitudes toward other people matters. Anyways. I'm locking this door. Good night. Someone's throwing rocks in my window. If I had to guess, it's Nick or Tony. Eh, probably Nick. I should open the window to see what's going on. No more cool stuff hiding here. Someone's throwing rocks in my... Oh, yeah. Well, me too. I think everyone heard about our, uh, experiment near Mrs. Johnson's garden. Then what are you doing here? Are you crazy? The last of the crap Tony needs to make a signal descrambler came in the mail! We're gonna get pay-per-view cable for free! We gotta get to Tony's house! Uh, I'm not so sure, Nick. Three words, man. Naked. Chicks. On TV! Those are four words. But... <sighs> you win. Give me a minute. Just keep it quiet, alright? These flowers are colorful, smell great, and best of all, my sister is allergic to them. Hey! There's the key to my wardrobe! Now I remember. I put it here because my sister is allergic to these flowers. Now that I say it out loud, man, I sound paranoid. But I'm almost positive she uses my things when I'm out. The door is locked. I don't recall where- but it should be a- I should use the key with the wardrobe to unlock it. I can't talk to that. The door is locked. I don't... But... The best comic.
console that ever existed, and it's all mine! Eight whole bits of raw power! This and the TV are staying put. I want a long legal battle with Dad to have them here. I can't talk to that. This used to be my grandma's TV. It's black and white and the antenna doesn't really pick anything up. But it works with my video games and that's really the only thing I need. Rad! It's full of clothes and old stuff. Why the hell I locked this with the key? Oh yeah. It's full of clothes and old stuff. Why the hell I locked this with the key? Oh yeah. My sister wanted to steal my jacket. Hey, my old Roboto Battle Station! Dad's been on my case about cleaning this up all week. But now's not the best time. Dad's been on my case about cleaning- But now's- I know this is just a pulley. But when I was a little kid, I used to pretend that this was a battle station named Roboto. I wrote Mr. Roboto on it with a marker. This movie was so awesome! When I was a little kid, I used to watch it at my grandpa's. The alien laser sound effects were so scary! 50 movies are great! I love this movie concept. It's a perfect blend of sci-fi elements with classic nostalgia. It just works on so many levels. This is my personal library of movie companion books. I've got a lot of trivia about classic horror. Did you know that Universal made two Dracula movies in 1931? There was a Lugosi one in English, and another one in Spanish. Personally, I like the Spanish one more. This is my personal library of movies. Did you know there was a Lugosi personal? The bulb is pretty dim, but it's perfect for reading comics when you're supposed to be sleeping. Light on. Light off. It could be fun to start practicing BMX stunts again. One of Luke Masters. I think he would look silly fighting a regular sized person. These kinds of figures are for looking, not playing. An Empire spacecraft model E90. It can travel at light speed with ease. I already broke one like that, so... Models are to look at, not to play with. I'm grounded, so I'm not supposed to leave the door. It's locked. It's just a light switch.
No more cool stuff hiding here. It's my super comfy bed! No comic books hiding below it this time. Doc Martinez told me I should avoid heavy lifting if I want to grow taller. And Samantha Silverman is taller than me. So that's a no-go for now. Dad's been on my case about cleaning this, but now... I made this by adding the bike pegs to the pulley. I mean, Roboto Battle Station. The window of the treehouse is closed. I should ask Nick to open it or else I'll end up crashing through the window. Nick can be an asshole sometimes, but he's one of my best friends. Hey! What? Are you sure Tony made a signal to Scrambler? Yes, yeah, of course. Probably. Maybe. The point is, there is a big chance of seeing uncensored adult movies tonight, and you shouldn't miss it! Isn't Tony grounded too? Yes, but his grandmother's death is a doornail. Remember the time we hit a llama in Tony's basement? She never found it. Yeah, I guess she won't notice us either. Is anyone around? The coast is clear. You are safe to escape. Perfect! It's South Plains at night. What do you expect? Everyone is sleeping or watching TV. Can you help me get out? Yeah, sure. Jump. I'll catch you. You said that to Eddie Martinez and he broke a leg. Well, that's different. Eddie Martinez is fat. He's not my friend and his parents don't know mine. Forget it. I'm not going to jump. Can you open the treehouse window? Are you gonna use the zip line? Isn't that like kinda risky? I mean, you could fall, your dad is going to find you all crippled, then he's going to call my parents, and I don't want that to happen. Oh, what's wrong, Nick? Chicken? Nobody calls me chicken! Then prove it and open the freaking window! Alright, but don't you ever call me chicken again! Noted. Just give me a minute. Okay, but hurry! Okay, this is my one-way ticket out. Let's make this thing spin.
Hey, Tony, we're here. Did we miss anything? No, not really. I'm almost done connecting the antenna. Are you sure this is going to work? Why does it even need the antenna if we're trying to pick up cable? I installed a transmitter on the cable box down the street. That way there's no big obvious wires leading right to this house. And believe me, this thing has way more power than we need to watch free cable. You still have those pony bed sheets? Yeah, the pony cartoon has its moments. And my grandmother thinks ponies are cool. If you say so, I guess I'll give it a second chance. I'm sure you're going to like it. And in season two, things get much better with the first tooth pony babies and all. Megan really grew as a character. Really? Yeah. Anyways, I would love to keep hearing you talk about ponies, but let's go back to what is important. When are we gonna start watching adult television? After some final adjustments. Can you move the antenna a bit? Okay, let me try. It's working! What the hell is that? Looks like some kind of sci-fi movie. From China? What language is this even in? I have no idea. But I didn't build a descrambler, so we could catch the international channel. Let's try another one. Something's wrong. This thing is on every single channel. On the plus side, we can watch Chinese movies. What the hell was that? That wasn't a shooting star. I don't think that was a movie. What do you mean? It could be possible that we just witnessed some sort of distress call from a spaceship that just crashed in the South Plains Greenwoods. I I'm not sure. What if it was just the weirdest coincidence ever? Then what are we waiting for? That wasn't far from here. Let's go find out. But what about the Cable Girls? Look, if that was an alien spaceship, we could be the first humans to meet beings from another planet. Don't you want to be part of human history? But the girls... I'm pretty sure that if we become part of human history, we'll get more girls than if we stay home stealing Cable. You got a point. Let's get moving. According to my calculations, we must be near. Yeah, it smells like burnt ass. It's too bumpy. We'll have to walk from here. I think this is one of the oldest pines in the woods. What are you, a tree hugger? The vegetation's really dense here. I can't find anything in this bush. Some blue liquid spilled on the ground. It smells funny. I'm not touching that. It looks like it was hit by a lightning. Or a fireball. Maybe the alien did this? No, Vinny was right. It was definitely a lightning strike. It was like that a week ago when I went hiking with my dad.
This rusty thing controls the flow of the stream. I can't move it. It's too rusty. Let me give it a try. Yeah, this is too rusty. We need something to lube it up. This water's ice cold. Not a good season for swimming. I'm not touching that. I'm not a chicken. I was just making sure he wasn't in that direction. We just came from there. I can't find... Timber! It looks like it was made... It Now we can cross. The vegetation's really dense here. I can't find it. This tree gives me the creeps. It's a tree, all right, and it's not going anywhere. Look, the bushes are moving. Hello? Mr. Extraterrestrial, is that you? Uh, we saw your transmission. We come in peace. They don't... Those are not the aliens we're looking for. Those are wolves. I knew this was a bad idea. Quick, pretend to be bigger. Wolves almost never attack adults. Go away, I've got a mortgage to pay. Shoo, shoo. Really? Shut up, it's working. Shoo, shoo. I have three kids and a boring job, shoo. This isn't working. Any other plan? Let's scare them by acting aggressive. I'll charge them. You cover me. Are you sure about this? I saw it in a documentary. A honey badger did this to a group of lions and he escaped. Those aren't lions. We're not honey badgers and this is not a documentary. Let's give it a try. We have nothing to lose. Other than our life. Are you sure we don't have any other option? Okay, those wolves were bad enough, but that sound perturbed me even more. If that was an alien, aliens are loud. We should get away from here before the wolves change their minds. What are you doing here? This is no time to visit the woods, kids. Didn't you know the area's full of wolves? Yeah, we just saw some of them over there. You were lucky they didn't attack you. You better get home. If you do it quick, I won't tell your parents about this. Sir, yes sir. Let's go. Wait. Do you know what this blue liquid is? It was like this when we got here. Did you see or hear anything else unusual tonight? No. Something tells me you're not being honest with me. Does anyone else know that you- What the hell? Run! Let's get to the treehouse. Okay, here's the situation. 
There's a killer alien in town, and we're the only ones that know about it. We should tell the police. We could try, but I don't think they'll believe us. We could at least tell the park rangers that one of their guys was attacked in the woods. That makes sense. I think we should stop it ourselves. Who knows how many people that creature is going to kill before the police realize what's up? Any suggestions on how we're going to do that? I was thinking of setting a trap. A bear trap. No one can escape a bear trap. I think it would be better if we could ensnare him with a strong net. He seems to have long limbs, so in my opinion, a net would be the more effective option. We could dig a big hole and cover it with leaves. Who do you think you are, Willie E. Coyote? Because your net idea is so much better! Please remind me, what are we trying to catch again? An alien or a shark? Gentlemen, please, there's no need to argue. Look, we don't know anything about this alien, except that it's all gangly and likes to stab people. Maybe we should take a blanket approach, you know? Cover all our bases. We can put together a bigger trap that uses all three ideas. The hole, the net, and the bear trap. At least if it fails, nobody can point fingers. Sounds fair to me. And don't worry about digging the hole. I'm sure the bull will help us with that. He owes me big time.